I'm Dave Eisenhower, and I am a sculptor, I suppose, primarily. What I really want is to connect people to the natural world. I want them to realize their relationship with it, good and bad. I work from my own personal feelings about that, and I try to also include something from the collective unconscious in those. So what happens is I work in wax. I primarily like to do unique castings, which means there's only one mold. The wax itself goes to the foundry. A mold is made of that. The wax is melted out and the bronze is poured in. That's gross oversimplification, but that's, that's basically what happens. It involves a lot of setting found objects around, like big crankshafts and pistons and ax heads, and then thinking about them for a while and how I fit those objects that are about industrialization and carbon into a narrative of some kind. And uh, lately it's been using seaweed and having them be underwater, uh, but I've gone through a lot of different processes to get to a finished piece of art. My experience as an artist in this region is that it is just jam-packed with amazing artists, for one thing. The, the inspiration is just incredible. Um, and then just the beauty of the natural world here. When I first visited um, in 92, I just fell in love with this place. The dichotomy of the mountains, and the ocean, and just all these different aspects of some of my favorite things that happen on the planet happen right here. My relationship with Bima started with a solo show there that just opened up my perspectives. And what it did for me was it gave me confidence, you know, that, that it, here was this new major museum that wanted to give me a solo show. Ever since then, I can't help but just appreciate the direction that they've been going and all the amazing work that's been shown there. I just think it's a gem. I just finished a show um, some six months ago called Sequester, which is about our relationship with carbon. Sometimes the pieces are a bit dark and sometimes they're very happy and just beautiful. And I like having that dichotomy, the two things together when you walk through a show. So I just had a show at Smith Valley and I'm getting ready to set up in the Jefferson County Art and History Museum. What I'm gonna call that show is Under Water Street because Water Street is Fort Townsend is about six foot above sea level. And the room I'm showing in is about six foot below sea level. So one can imagine where that might be at some point. And I would like people to imagine that.